And then the key takeaways is, um, you know, taking all the uh, the head scratch and the headache away from what used to be um, really um, peel layers of the onion, or some people like to call it the, uh, um, uh, I like to say, uh, M&M approach. You know, my security is crunchy and hard on the outside and soft in the center, <laughs> right? So perimeter security gets most of the attention where we should be doing things internally as well. Um, so we go from a standard NMM to a peanut NMM, and then, uh, you know, defense in depth, rather than deploying a bunch of different products to try and use different security um, tools to try and catch things because you're afraid one vendor is not going to get it. The reality is most of us vendors all share information in the background through the Cybersecurity Threat Alliance, and that's all the biggest vendors, security vendors in the world all belong to that. Uh, that includes three-letter agencies, all of them. and um, MITRE and all of them, right? So we're all sharing in the background, right? I like to say it's kind of like the criminal in the White House, you know, outwardly there's a, you know, public display, but there's a bat line in the case of emergency, they can pick it up and it rings the other one and they can share information, right? It's not public, but it's happening, right? So um, the, the fabric really allows us to be able to get that information and program all of our different devices in automated fashion.